Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2023, together with Dennis Connolly from Broadlock Estate. Now, you make whiskey with a micro distillery. We are making whiskey with a micro distillery. Just Excellent. recently, we've um, developed this on our estate yep. in County Wicklow. Very, very good. I have, I have no idea about your brand yet. Sure. So tell us a little bit about the history and the people out there. Okay. Uh, what we're doing is we're, we're grain focused, yep. so our barley is grown on our own estate. Excellent. So with Broadlock, we have alluvium soil, which is mm -hmm. a little bit rare in Ireland, but yep. we're producing a very good barley, mm -hmm. which we're uh, malting and using within our, um, our pot still and our um, other offerings in, mm -hmm. in whiskey. At the moment, a lot of our whiskey has been developed with uh, co uh, cooperation from uh, third party distillers. Yep. Uh, but it's working very well. We've mm -hmm. had an extremely good show here uh, yeah, yeah. over the past couple of days. So we've really only put our head above the parapet <laughs> at the moment. And we've been, uh, we, we're very happy with yeah. how I this goes so far. I hope you've had a very, very good welcome uh, to the whiskey absolutely, yeah. scene here in yeah, Ireland. Yeah, it's great. Good people and lots yeah. of support from other people yeah. and people sharing yeah. uh, thoughts and ideas with us all the time. So it's a, it's a nice environment to work in, very for good. sure. So you do have third party whiskey here. So let's start off with that. I did see a 10 year old whiskey, I think. Sure, yeah. So that okay. was here. Yeah. Nope, I'm holding yeah, out so all the wrong models. Yeah. Yep. So this is um, this I is this is a, a, a coolie, yep. um, a ten year old spirit, oh, uh, which okay. we've uh, finished in a tequila cask. Oh, why tequila? Uh, now tequila's in, but yeah, sometimes well, it works, sometimes okay. it doesn't. Okay, well, certainly, certainly with this particular, <laughs> uh, particularly with the grain, yeah. I think it's, it's ah, getting it's, it's getting like there's a bit of subtlety coming yep. through uh, with the tequila, yep. uh, particularly with the grain. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just found with our with our tastings on this, yep. it's developing quite well, and this is uh, primarily for uh, for the U.S. market. All right, ah, so that's. Where you're going, yeah. Birch and, uh, so George George Birch and Co. Why Correct. George Birch? Okay, this this is a name history. that we're trying to yeah. uh, attach ourselves to with mm -hmm. a bit of history. Uh, originally based in Ross Gray, okay, uh, he was a distiller from sort of 1790 to 1830, mm -hmm. and was an interesting character in his development of insulated stills. Uh, he was quite forward thinking, and again, he was up against maybe some of the bigger companies. Yeah. Didn't quite work out for him. There's yeah. a bit of history on the internet about him if you want oh, to look him up. I will have so to do that. <laughs> we're trying to kind of relaunch or uh, sort of certainly tip our hat towards yep. him uh, within this brand. And uh, it's, 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 centered, it's really focused on the, on the States and the export yep. market. Mm -hmm. uh, but so far, we've had a very good response to it. So you're in the States, where else? Uh, well, that's it. This, okay, this, this is really launching the into, the, into okay. the States at the moment. It's has, very, we, very new, I think, right? Yeah, very, very, yeah, Do you know exactly. the States in the U.S. where you're at? Yes, we're, well, we're going into, right, you're going, uh, you're we're going going into to... Texas, uh, Florida, New York, and California. All right, so the main, the big yeah. four, basically. Sure. Only we, Illinois we got it, is we got missing it, yeah, Chicago. Yeah, exactly. And maybe Boston and we got it. we got a strong yeah. partner over there, yeah. and we're cooperating well. We're small, and they're small, so... Hopefully we'll grow to better yeah, things good. together. Do you have a couple other bottles? Can we talk about them as well? Or not? Sure. Okay. Yeah, we've got That'll a. Be, be, oh, single malt. Yeah, that's Irish whiskey. That's a that's a nice single malt. That's yep. a minimum of five years yep. old. We've blended some seven in with with five year old mm -hmm. as well, but we're keeping it at five. Yep. Again, triple distilled uh, Oloroso cast finish. Mm. The interesting thing about the cast is that um, we're using a Jerez uh, Oloroso cast yep. uh, from the Demek family. Okay. And Berto and Maria Demek down in Jerez oh, yeah. have been very good to us. Nice um, thick labels, by the nice, way. Nice, good, thick, know, heavy label, good nice. linen label. Yep. Yeah, so um, so we're really excited about this. Yeah. yeah. And one more you have as well, right? Yeah, so oh, well, this is our pot still. Ah. Okay. So, of so course. Now he's happy. So now I'm happy. <laughs> I, I, I love the pot still. Yeah. I just think it, it, in recognition of Ireland, it, yeah. it really sources back to what we're doing here. Yes. So, again, we're using our own grain in this. Uh, so, 40%, our, our mash bill is 60% malt, 40% unmalted barley. Okay. Very good. Well, there's a little bit of oats in there as well. Can just you to top say it all who up. you sent the grain to to make it just to be, be small? Well, we're not going to say too Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're not going to say too much for the moment. Right. We're, we're working with some good smaller right. yes. some good smaller distilleries yes. around the country. Good. Very nice. And um, we're very proud of who we're working with yes. and we're very happy with the quality we're, mm -hmm. we're getting through that. All right. So also here, 42%, very yeah. nice. Distilled, matured, and bottled. Very, very nice. Wicklow barley. Now, if I go over here, though, yeah. this is What's very happening? special. Now, this is, I don't even <laughs> know if this is for sale. <laughs> no, <laughs> I tell you what happened here. This right. is a little bottle that we yes. bought in an antique shop, yes. right? And I just okay. thought it's so beautiful yeah. for, for whiskey that we've sampled it up here today just yeah. for fun, for right. a sport, mm -hmm. and the feedback has been wonderful. Yeah. So we're looking at this bottle reproduced, yeah. and we're looking at using it for, if you like, age statements yes. in smaller volumes. Yes. So making age statements a bit more accessible All right. in a smaller bottle, but All a right. nice idea for a sharing bottle or a yep. gifting bottle or people to sit down and enjoy something in, in small volume over, over an evening. 
very, That's very the good. idea behind that. And this that. is the single state, triple uh, distilled, single pot still. So basically Correct. very similar to here. Correct. All right, gotcha. All right, the small craft, uh, small batch craft. Now you do have only for... Yeah, what we have here, yeah, we've got a couple of uh, interesting... I see 65.47%. Yeah, that's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Okay. I see 59.33%. Sure. Oh, nice. Okay, so what we have is we've got a couple of very nice yeah. casts that we're, we're testing here today. Mm -hmm. And from the feedback we've got from them, yep. we're certainly going to be bottling these in November. Yep. We're hoping to work in cooperatively with the uh, Celtic Whiskey Store. Ah. So these will be a limited edition yep. insofar as there's no finishing cask. Right. It's just honest whiskey straight right. from the cask yep. into the bottle at cask strength. Excellent. Uh, and we think maybe some whiskey has gone the full circle insofar yep. as if it's good enough and it should stand up on its own, then that's what we hope it's going to do. All right. Talk about your micro distillery. How micro, how small is it? It's very micro. Our production capacity is probably between 80 and 100 casts a year. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. So but two, we're, two a week. It's, it's, a little, it's a little bit experimental. Okay. We're having so some fun with it. And we're building 500 liter. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Pots so, yep. um, again, look, it's small, it's craft, and it's, um, it's a fun thing to do. We probably yep. want to develop some ideas that we can cooperate with other people on. Right. It's not that commercially viable, of course. But well, it still gives, it, gives you a little edge. Expand. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah yeah, 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 exactly. So, and now, how did you have the idea to have your own distillery? Now, you are, you came from the, what, okay. what's your background? Well, a little bit of background. Yeah. Um, we, we were in the drinks, in the soft drinks uh, business yeah, for right. a number of years back in the noughties. Yes. Um, and we developed some ideas with some friends of ours and colleagues of ours on the development of distillery right. and that led us to Monaster Evan which is a beautiful town mm -hmm. everybody knows Monaster Evan in County Kildare yeah. and we came across a beautiful old mill a lovely old building there and we went ahead and got planning and went through yeah. all the yeah. all the hard we work all the, all the, the hard loops. yards yeah. and all that time and then looking at the cost of development was prohibitive for yeah. us um, budget wise and project wise and we were delighted then to um, we then had uh, we then sold that yeah. to um, Paddy McKillen Jr. and Bono, yeah. and they've opened up. They've invested a huge amount of money there, and they've done an incredible job. So you laid the groundwork for the yeah. distillery Bono invested. Correct. In. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now yeah. I know who yeah. this guy is. Yeah. That took a while okay. to get there. Well, okay. yeah, but it's not you know. I have heard of you. It's yeah. not. A, we're not flag waving no, that at no, all. No. I mean, the guys have done a superb job, and they've they've changed things around a yes. lot. But we're just very proud to actually be in the genesis of yeah. that yeah. and the employment that's going to create yes. down there. So that's a nice tick for. For my box as I'm that going is, on. That is. Um, and then with the estate down at Broadlock, just the soil, beautiful soil. Yeah. We started growing the barley. We decided we'd try and develop something, especially with a pot still. Um, and that's why we're here today. And the, right. the reaction's been pretty cool. Our pot still isn't going to be released until next February. Right. When it's touching five, it's just raising five years old. Yeah. So we think five years is probably where you've got to be for a pot still. I do, yeah. Our cast and our single cast release will be. In November mm -hmm. and hopefully with cooperation from the uh, from the Celtic whiskey shop yeah, and a good. little bit online as well. One last question, not a trick question, but no, a real that's fine. honest question. Now, if I see single state, that's great. Barley is the number one thing. Yeah. Will you be mentioning the type of barley you're using in the future because yeah. there's different types of barley? Well, varietals. we're using yeah. Well, our variety at the moment is Gangway. Right. Okay. So very good. Gangway yeah. is a and that might be on the actually perfect. The Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, we'll see? get more detail into yeah. that. So we'll spot it. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't miss a thing. This no. guy, right? <laughs> okay. Transparency is what we want. That's Absolutely. What we need. So that's yeah. Very, yeah. Very yeah. Good. Yeah. All right, Whiskey Jason. Here, I'm very happy. I'm looking forward to see what you're doing in the future. You're Thank a gentleman. You very much. Thank you very much indeed. Bye. Okay. Cheers. Bye.